Well, um, you know, they compare you to Chaplin and Lenny Bruce and even to Jerry Lewis. How do you like that? Um, that's very flattering. Uh, you know, those are... F I think all those people were great people. Or are, some of them are still alive. Two of them are. But, uh, the problem is that I don't, uh... There's a tendency for people to compare other people to other people. And, uh... It, when people ask me if uh, if I if I am going to be the new Chaplin or the new uh, Lenny Bruce, uh, I don't think uh, I think there are differences. I'm going to be the new Loudon Wainwright. <laughs> well, your performances are comedies in uh, many senses. How do you build up a night before the public? How do I build up a night? Yeah. I mean, uh, the program of Poor Night. Right? Oh, well, usually, uh, I, I sometimes, you know, I think I'll start with a few, s with one or two songs, and then I'll do that, and depending on, on, on uh, how it's going with the audience or what I feel like doing at the time, then I'll sing other songs. I don't write out the song, write out the set before I go do it. I just uh, start with a few things and then take it where it goes. Well, you have a... Uh a uh, very great repertoire. I have a lot of songs. I've been writing songs for about eight years. Well, so you you don't uh, usually concentrate on a theme or or um, some themes for one night. No. No, no. It's just uh, I sing a in in a given night. I'll sing about a lot of different things generally. Uh, what are your themes mostly? Well, I. Uh, I write a, a, about just just th I think I, I write about the th the same way that most people who write songs or write anything uh, write about it. And, uh, those are the things that I think about a lot and uh, that interest me. I guess things that happen to me or things that I see. Specifically, I write a lot of songs about uh, uh, love, but uh, love which doesn't is not not necessarily happy love. Unrequited love, it's called in English, and uh, about men and women not getting along with each other. Uh, and uh, I write some songs about uh, death and uh, sports and drinking, smoking cigarettes, all my favorite things. Well, are there any limits for you? I mean, would you make a song about anything? If I felt that way, you know. Uh, I think it's dangerous if I start to think, well, now I have to make a song about that'll blow every, you know. Usually when I write a, s a song, um, I just have been thinking about that thing that I'm going to write about for a while, and then I just write it. And usually I, it gets written very quickly, you know, within an hour or two. I don't spend a long time, uh, you know. You, if it's good, it usually comes out very quickly, the writing. Now, would you say you are serious? or not serious when you write? <clears throat> well, I think that uh, I'm writing about serious things. And when I sing the songs, uh, uh, especially uh, in, in my own country, in America and in England, where, uh, uh, and, and even here, you know, where the people generally have a pretty good knowledge of English, there's a tendency to laugh at the songs, because some of them are funny, and they're designed to do that in a way. And when I perform, people laugh. And some people come to me and say, but your songs are serious. Aren't, doesn't that make you angry that, they, uh, that they're laughing? And I don't think it does, because I encourage it. For some reason, I don't know why. Maybe it would be more difficult for me to just sing it straight. But uh, I think the songs are serious. And when I'm writing them, I'm serious. and. Uh, but I treat them lightly, but they are serious. Well, do people ever get mad at you? Yeah. Because of your satire? Yeah, but I think that's good, too. You know, I, uh, I like it when everyone goes, likes it very much, it was very good, you know. Uh, but some people do get angry, and, and that, uh, that's okay. It's better that they get angry. Is, the worst thing is if they're bored by it. Then I know that something's wrong. But you are not the kind of singer that gets 
kicked out, let's say, like Lenny Bruce was? No, because I don't think um, what I'm doing now is not... Uh, uh, nobody minds. The governments don't mind. It's 1975, and you can get away with just about anything. <laughs> well, don't you think you, you belong to vaudeville stage, if there was any? Um, well, when I was a, a little boy growing up, and the first music that I remember listening to was um, m musical comedies, you know? Mm -hmm. The American Musical Comedy Theater. P plays like My Fair Lady and Guys and Dolls, and these were the... These were very popular in the 50s and in the 40s. And, uh, and I remember uh, playing the records and singing on top of the things, you know? So in a way, uh, and I've always wanted to, and, and when I when I was growing up, I wanted to be an actor in the theater. So now I'm not an actor, but in a way, I'm still doing it. So uh, this kind of a vaudeville thing, I guess. Although, there, as you say, there is no vaudeville left. But uh, you feel like home on the rock scene. On the rock scene? Yes, I mean this this well, whole business. It's all show business, and. Uh, I'm not a rock and roll. I mean, sometimes when I make records, I use rock and roll bands, but I don't consider myself a rock and roll singer. Uh, I don't consider myself a folk singer either. I just consider myself a person who writes songs and sings them, and performs them. You are a public man. Is it possible to be the same singer in the studio like this or recording recording studio? It's much uh, more difficult. To, to sing in a place where there are no people except for the people that are act, that are actually have to do something. They can't really watch, they have to work the camera or something. Or to sing in a recording studio in front of a microphone is, uh, I, f I find it uh, much more difficult. And when there's an audience, I, it's easier. But you need rec records too. Yeah, that's one of the ways I make my living, so I, I have to do it. I don't particularly enjoy making records. But I'm getting more and more used to it and learning more about it. But uh, uh, I would rather be performing in front of a live audience. Now, do you sing for uh, America or for the whole world? Um, well, I'm here in Finland singing, you know. Mm. And I think... Uh, when I was singing in this club in Helsinki uh, for the people, I I, I th think they they understood a lot of it, you know, even though I sing in a different, in not Finnish but in English. So uh, uh, and uh, I've had s I've sung in other countries, and I would like to sing in as many countries as possible. So I think that I sing for the whole world, but I am from America. But uh, I'm a citizen of the world. How much do you write about America? I'm writing more about America now than I ever have, for some reason. Maybe it's because this, this bicentennial, this 1776 to 1976, this 200 year thing is very big now in the United States. And uh, everyone is, a lot of attention is being paid now to the history of America. And uh, for some reason I've written in the last two months three songs about, kind of about that. But usually I don't really write that much about America specifically, except problems which arise out of America. <laughs>